We're joined on the line now by New Cork City Captain Becky Casson. Becky, first off, congratulations. This is a, a big honour. Yeah, it is huge. Um, Cork City is obviously a massive club with a, you know, a really big reputation. So to be given the opportunity to be captain is massive. Yeah. How were you surprised when Ronan called you or Ronan called you and said you're you're my captain for this year? Yeah, I was. Um, you know, we've a lot of players in the team that are more than capable of stepping into that role and being captain. So um it was in a player meeting with all the coaches he got onto me and you know, they, they asked me if I'd if I'd be captain and I didn't have to think twice about it, it was always gonna be a yes. What kind of attributes now would you hope to bring into the captaincy for the season ahead? Um, leadership, I think I think I'll lead by example more than anything else. Um, you know, we have a really good group in there already that that are motivated. It won't I won't need to do very much motivating myself, but yeah, just good leadership skills, which I think I have and um a work rate that I think everyone can kind of buy into. Your appointment as captain has been quite popular on my social media. Everyone seems to be delighted that you you are the captain, which must be quite pleasing for you. Yeah, it's nice. I didn't expect the sort of reaction that I got, um, especially at home. You know, I had a lot of people messaging me from home, seeing it on Facebook and stuff like that. So that was nice. Yeah, it was really nice. It's just your second season at the club. So were you surprised, given how short you've been at the club, that you, you were handed the arm this quickly? Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't think anybody expects to come in and uh, step into this sort of role, you know, as quickly as I have. But I've loved it since I've been in. I, I feel like I've been a part of the club for years now rather than, just two, so um, no, I'm I'm you know buzzing to have it, and I think it hopefully it goes well. And when you look back on last year, Becky, I mean, like uh, your highest league finish in in nine years, getting to the cup final, um, a very very good season overall. It was, yeah, really a really good season. Um, we had a lot of you know really good experiences. We went on a run of five wins in a row, which is huge. Um, which we obviously learned a lot from, and then into the cup final, which we all know wasn't you know, the outcome that we would have wanted, but you learn the most from those sorts of games. So overall, it was definitely a successful year um, and one to build on. We've had players come and go now in the last few weeks. So it's it'll be another another big year to see, you know, how far we've come and um, pre-season is nearly finished now. So we've put in the work over the last six to seven weeks. So hopefully it'll, you know, come to fruition come the start of the season. As you say, Becky, the cup final, not the results you obviously would have wanted for me. Do you reflect back on that game and do you, do you, are you able to see uh, the achievement of getting to the cup final, what that was, or is, is the, the results still kind of on your mind? Yeah, definitely. Just getting there was huge in itself and it was a target that we set at the start of the year. Um, but I do, I, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think about it at least once a week, I'd say. Um, just in, in training and stuff, you know, different um, scenarios. but. No, there was a lot personally that I could take from it that I, I do take from it. And I know all the girls are the same. We had a lot of younger girls coming through that got the opportunity to, you know, see what it's like at that level, you know, which is the top that we need to, the top level that we need to be at. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a steep learning curve, but one that I think you have to have at some stage in your career. Piedmont are obviously an exceptional side, the standard bearers. I mean, like, um, it just shows you, I suppose, the work that's needed to get to that level, I guess. Definitely. Yeah, they were class. Um, you know, they showed that all season. They didn't, I don't think they faltered at all. Um, and we played them in pre-season then a, a few weeks ago and it, it's it's a, it's a good opportunity to play them, you know, and, and see the level, remind us again what the level we need to be at. Um, but yeah, no, they're, they're really good. They've, you know, really good players and management and that's where we have to get to. That's where we know we need to do to get to. Becky, given everything that's going on with COVID, I suppose you're one of the lucky groups in that you can actually train and you've got matches very, very soon. You've had pre-season matches. And like, how fortunate do you feel to be able to, to play football uh, given what's going on in this pandemic? Oh, hugely fortunate. Um, you know, we all know how lucky we are because we have that release you know, three or four days a week that you know, very few people have. So we're, we know that we're in a very small um you know, population of people that actually get to get out and see people and, um, like I said, have that release. I know we do. We know how fortunate we are and we don't take it for granted at all. How big a deal, Becky, was it that it was announced that you're going to be playing all your home games at Turner's Cross this year? Massive. Um, I was buzzing as soon as I found out. All the girls were. Um, I think for years they've, you know, that's wanted 
it's something that has wanted to happen from the girls' side of the club for the women's side. Um, so to be in there is huge. You know, it would be nice to have crowds in and have the shed end packed, but we might be waiting a while for that now. But when it does happen, I know it'll be huge. Yeah. That'd be a very pro moment for you, though, leading a Cork City team out in Turner's Cross. Have you thought about that? Uh, I have, yeah. Um, I was at a few games a few years ago, a few men's matches, and I was in the shed end and it, when it was packed, and it's an, an unbelievable experience. So to flip that now and be walking out onto the pitch myself is going to be it's going to be really nice. Um, is it your first home game against Shelburne, is it? It is, yeah, okay. I think so. So that's going to be yeah. a, a huge game to, to, to kick things off at Turner's Cross. Yeah, that'll that'll set the tone for the year, I think. Um, no, it's nice. We, it, we're happy now that we'll have a a good, you know, tough game to start the season and um, a few familiar faces. <laughs> Certainly, one very familiar face will be Sir Shanoon. And um, were you surprised to see her leave City and sign for Shelburne? And are you looking forward to coming up against uh, Turners Cross? Uh, yeah, no, I know Sir is so motivated and um, you know wants to get to the top, the top level and. Um, you have to do these things for yourself. You have to, you know, make moves that you think will benefit you. And, um, you know, I've, I, we all wish her all the best. I've, you know, I've said it before. She's done a lot for City in, in the last few years and was a huge part of the journey. So, yeah, we're all looking forward to seeing her. Hopefully she won't be walking off the pitch with three points at the end of the game. But, um, yeah, no, it'll, it'll be good to see her and uh, show her how much we've come on as well in pre-season. Uh, Lauren uh, left the club as well this week heading to the States uh, another big loss because Lauren's a quality player she is yeah she won't be gone till till the end of the summer I think um, so we'll have her for another few months but yeah Lauren's class you know for, for such a young player she has a lot of a lot of ability and I know she'll she'll really enjoy it in the States I think it'll suit her um, obviously huge loss to us as will Ava be um, but you know, it's it's something that young players are, are doing more now and it's something we just have to get used to and accept. Yeah. Okay, so as we speak here, we're two weeks out from the, the opening game of the season uh, at way to Galway. I mean, like they, the buzz around the squad ahead of the start of the season must be something else at this point. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, we went through our team targets last night as a group and set our goals for the season and it, it does, it makes it that, feel that bit more, you know, real and how close it is. Um, it doesn't feel that long ago when we were doing it last year and to think how successful last year was. So, yeah, we're really excited, really raring to go. We're all in a really good place and enjoying our football. And it's, you know, it's things are starting to come together in training and, and in our pre-season matches. So, yeah, we're all really looking forward to it. I don't expect you to, to share your exact targets, I suppose, but it's for this season, I suppose, improvement on last year is at least a minimum aim. Yeah, absolutely. We're very similar targets, Um, to be fair, but... Definitely, we, we want to improve in certain areas. Um, you know, that's important to us as a group. We all know what they are, but um, I suppose we'll see at the end of the season how, how successful we are. Overall, Becky, I think um, the focus in the Women's National League this year is uh, the highest level it's ever been, given like SSC are now sponsoring the, the, the Women's National League. And there's a lot more media focus on the league this time around. Have you noticed that as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think this is my eighth season now, and it's definitely the the most attention I've ever seen the league get, you know, in the build up to the first game of the season. So it's it's really important and it's it's yeah, it's really important for the young girls coming through as well to see how big the league is and see the sort of reputation that it has. Um and it's nice for us as well who've been in the league for quite a while to see the improvements and see how much it's grown. So no, it's it's a nice and um you know all the clubs are making more of an effort now with their social media and uh getting I suppose, attention on the players as individuals, whereas before it would have been very much team-based, whereas now we're, we're seeing more of the individual players and, you know, who plays for who and what sort of attributes they have. So, yeah, it's nice. Um, personally, Becky, are you the kind of player who sets targets for yourself for the, for the season ahead? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. Hey, <laughs> you're not going to share them with us, though, are you? <laughs> um, I know, they, they probably most players would have them, you know, just... Um, improve on you know I suppose specific stats maybe um I'd like to score a few more goals that'd probably be something for me um but yeah they're pretty general they're probably what everybody else sets themselves that's it Becky uh, thanks very much for talking to us this morning very very best luck for the season ahead I'm really looking forward to, to watching you play against Shelburne in a, a couple of weeks at Turnus Cross and uh, very very best of luck for the, the start of the season against Galway thanks thanks for having me on